Welcome to Unit 3, Booting Spring Boot. We're going to look at a few other ways in which you can start a Spring Boot application. We have seen one way in Unit 1. We created a simple Maven project, we added the required dependencies ourselves, and we ran it as a Maven application, which works perfectly fine. This is a very valid way of creating Spring Boot applications. But there are a couple of other ways, and you might have a different favorite, depending on how you know convenient it is and how it addresses your needs. So I'm going to run through these different ways of doing things, different ways of creating a brand new application using Spring Boot. So this is what we're going to be doing in this unit. We're going to look at how to start a Spring Boot app. We're going to see three approaches. One is using an online tool called Spring Initializer. No, that's not a typo. That's how it's spelled. That's how all the cool names are spelled, isn't it? You leave out some vowel in between. Uh, the next approach is the Spring Boot CLI. And uh, we're also going to be looking at how to create a Spring Boot application using the Spring Tool Suite IDE itself. And then finally, we're going to move on to configuring your Spring Boot application, no matter which uh, option you chose to create it. So by the end of this unit, we will be able to create a Spring Boot app using one of the multiple options that you have and do some basic configuration. So let's get started.